Okay, so let's take off from where we finished in the previous lesson. Uh, we, let's now create a, a placeholder for our logo where we can just drop and leave our client's logo. We start from a rectangular placeholder and once we make the whole animation we simply modify it to square and round plate holders. This way we'll save ourselves some time and work. Okay, we'll make it half the size of the screen by simply dividing the main comb by 2 while keeping the aspect ratio. Now we'll need to create our lines. As I said, we'll do a lot of copying and pasting because we'll create one solid. Let's say uh, we'll make it 4,000 pixels long and about 20 pixels high. And let's make it red so it's easily visible on black or transparent background. We we'll rotate it slightly to the value which looks pleasant. I arrived at 30 degrees and uh, there's no magic formula here so whatever looks pleasing to you it's good okay from here we'll make our logo basic reveal animation we'll do it like you know basically this animation will just use this the same uh, lines the same traveling lines for every single animation in 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 our video for both the logo reveal and those traveling lines throughout the screen. And um, we'll do it by simply duplicating our layer over and over again and shifting some of the values like position, scale or simply this uh, fly through animation. Simply randomize it. Okay, we'll have to make our fly-through animation, so this we won't uh, move the layer itself, which is, it will be simply too difficult as each line, moving each line separately and creating millions of keyframes. And since we rotated it, it would simply be a nightmare. Instead, we will create a mask like this. And animate it, creating this kind of illusion of movement. And uh, later on, we'll simply change the position of duplicates and vary the keyframes, like, like move them in time or simply uh, move the, uh, the layer itself in timeline. Okay, I think we'll make about 15 layers that will simply fly through. And as I said, we just spread them, like move a little bit the... the <clears throat> randomize it, the, the, the speed of this animation when they fly through and we we'll also change the, the size the, using changing the scale. Okay, once we have this uh, we'll also make uh, those, we we'll duplicate those lines and this time we'll change the animation so they will just cover the whole screen like multiplying them and instead of like uh, making them fly through they will arrive at some point and stay there okay I just skip this part because it's very time-consuming 
Okay, once we have this, now we, as we can see, we have about, what, how many? 76 lines. And uh, some of them simply fly through. So it's a good idea to cut them. And I think this is line 62 towards line 76, when they simply fly through and disappear. So we'll move our playhead to around 2 seconds and 10 frames and and we cut them here so they won't have to compute during the render process and simply save some time when rendering.